Interconnectedness and interdependence are increasingly espoused by our global institutions. Whether it's across seas or across sidewalks, our societies count on trust as a cornerstone, a vehicle. It's as much a bridge as it is a vulnerability, and it is a fact that trust in our institutions is eroding. We broaden the horizons of our individual and collective networks, all the while losing sight of the horizon between our communities of practice and chambers of echoes. Corruption, lack of transparency, and perceived disconnects between leaders and the public exacerbate this crisis. By their very nature, institutions of higher learning are leading the way in shaping the future. Government institutions, through their complexity and depth, form the bedrock of societal progress and stability. And the organizations that are driving our economy, whether consequently or serendipitously, also drive innovation to create tremendous opportunity and shape whole communities. Trust is the perception that an institution acts with honesty and transparency. It's the belief that an institution has the necessary skills, knowledge, and capabilities to perform its functions, expertly and effectively. It is the expectation that institutions act in the best interest of the public and demonstrate care, awareness, and concern. We see this in how institutions handle social issues and public resources. It is the openness and clarity with which institutions operate. Transparent institutions communicate their actions, decisions, and policies clearly, making information not only available to the public, but accessible and inclusive. It is the mechanisms in place to hold institutions responsible for their actions and decisions. It is the checks and balances, the legal frameworks, and public scrutiny. Integrity, competence, humanity, transparency, and accountability. That is how we trust. Despite the impression social media and news media may give you, you might be surprised to learn the most recent Canadian social survey by StatsCan in 2023 reported 65% of Canadians have high confidence in our police institutions. Consider that only 45% of Canadians have high confidence in the school system, 37% in Canadian media, and 28% in our parliament. Now, confidence is not trust, but they are interrelated, and age plays a significant role in public confidence and trust which is seen to increase as one ages. For those in a position of compromised finances or health, means lower levels of trust and confidence in our institutions overall. One most interesting takeaway, 2023 was a record year for weather-related emergencies. And there was a clear correlation between public confidence in institutions and public awareness of what to do in an emergency due to weather. Can we then extrapolate that out to mean that public's first line of defense is institutions. Building trust in institutions has become a global issue, and it is no small feat. But the evidence suggests it is essential for a thriving society. By leading with bravery, humility, and transparency, let's create a future where institutions and the public work hand in hand.